Hi, and welcome to Volume 2, Episode 21 of The Talent Show, powered by T-Tech. I'm your host today, Sierra Sanchez. Every other Thursday at noon Eastern, we focus on T-Tech's most valuable asset, its talent. The people who bring the skills, the drive, and the life to T-Tech. After all, people are at the heart of the T-Tech human experience elevated. That being said, let's hear a little bit from everyone out there. Drop a message in the comments and let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, I would first like to say, can can everybody believe it's October? It's It feels like 2021 has flown by. The holiday season is here, essentially. Um, which means huge hiring sprees, the, at least in the northern part of the hemisphere, we're transitioning to fall. And then it's so fun to see some of our other tea techers um, in the southern part, you know, they're transitioning into spring. And um, yeah, some some exciting things, too, is we're also celebrating Global Diversity Month. Tune in um, next Tuesday on our tea tech Facebook we're going to do a live celebrating, um, just kind of like having a conversation with all of uh, like our different regions, kind of input on one and just talking about what makes T-Tech like an awesome, just like the diversity and how that really enhances like the T-Tech um, experience and just our growth. So it looks like, okay, we have from Mexico City, speaking of global diversity, Mexico City, T-Tech Leeds, welcome. Oh, from T-Tech Greece, from Rhode Island, Dublin. Okay, so we're at least covering two to three continents here. So um, without further ado, today we are actually headed to Greece to talk to T-Tech Athens about how they find meaning in changing lives and helping others find their dream careers. So two of our guests, each with almost two decades worth of experience in team building and helping to elevate the careers of others, which changes lives. Um, Jake Agmigdalos, the Senior Service Delivery Manager of Operation, and Olga Tiroyani, the Human Capital Manager in Greece. They are coming to the show today. Both thrive by creating engaged teams where people love where they are. Jake and Olga, welcome to the T-Tech Talent Show. Thank you very much, fellow T-Techers, Kiera. Uh, we are, it's an honor for us to be here. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Sarah, for the warm, warm welcoming. For me, it's my first you know, T-Tech Talent Show and I'm very excited, happy to be with you today awesome well we're so we're so happy you guys could join us um we hear so many exciting things are going on at t-tech athens and so we just want to hear like what's behind all that magic and i know both of you come from different backgrounds that evolve into helping foster amazing environments for teams and individuals alike uh, and, and you have you each your own unique career journeys that brought you to this point. So we'd love to hear from um, Jake, if you'd like to go first. Tell us about your career journey and everything that led you to T-Tech. Thank you, Shira. So uh, it's a long journey, but I think that every single part of this one had led me to this uh, position because, well, my dream was to to be in a position that I would affect other people's lives and make make them better professionals, make make it better. And uh, for me, this is a great opportunity because uh, I can do exactly that: uh, create an environment that everyone will flourish, everyone will give his best self, and uh, step up, learn things, and become eventually a better professional and uh, a better person. So uh, this is my goal, my everyday goal. And I remember when we opened uh, two and a half years ago, I said that for me, I should have only one goal. Every morning that you wake up and come to, to, uh, to the work to, to have a smile and not say, oh my God, I have to work. No, for me, the goal is everybody to, to come to work and smile. Uh, and I think we have, uh, we have succeeded on that. 
that that is the epitome of like a strong company culture and like T Tech Athens is so lucky that you have that viewpoint and you want to instill that kind of like attitude every day for everybody. Um, what about you, Olga? Tell us about your career journey. Well, uh, you know, I have started, you know, in call centers, you know, since a very young age. Uh, I, I was born and raised in Thessaloniki, uh, the second biggest capital, uh, you know, in Greece. And then I was relocated, you know, to UK to study international human resources. Then I joined as an intern, you know, in call centers, starting, you know, uh, you know, as an agent and then jumping, you know, to recruitment and onboarding. And then, you know, uh, my whole career started. I relocated to Cyprus and then, you know, back to Athens where I'm here. So uh, during, you know, the last decade, I was very lucky, you know, to meet, you know, a lot of people and help them, you know, change their lives. Uh, many times we say, look, this is just a job, but we have to understand that for many people, you know, the job is, you know, uh, more than 50% of their time and, you know, it can help them, you know, succeed in many things, you know, relocate countries, you know, change lives, change careers. Um, we help do, uh, we help people, you know, succeed, you know, on those items. So we are very lucky that we have been given, you know, this opportunity to change uh, the lives of different people. That's amazing. Just, just to add on that, Sierra, uh, and your comment, which is very, very true. We wouldn't be in a position to do everything, uh, all this, if we were not fully aligned with T-Tech values. So our values and Athens values are aligned with T-Tech values. T-Tech as a company is a company that promotes engagement and uh, empowerment. So uh, this is exactly what uh, we wanted. So we are very fortunate, very lucky to, to work in such an environment and be in a position to implement all this in our everyday lives. Yeah, and it, it gives you that framework you know, just verbally that framework that you can always, and, and checkpoints that you can always go back to. Um, and I think that sometimes things like that can be, be lost, but if you keep or get lost just in your everyday, like the everyday grind, like wake up, go to work. But it's, I love the thought of you saying, no, to, I need to wake up and like love my job. I, I wanna find meaning. And I think that's in talking to you guys previously, like this is something that very much like stands out as um, a you guys are really trying and that's your goal to make people's uh, careers everything and more that they want them to be. And um, that's and getting there. Like, what would you say are some of the most important lessons you've learned over time that have helped you evolve into your own career and want this for others as well? Well, to be honest, uh, so many things. Uh, I mean, it's funny, but I have learned a lot of things from uh, from uh, previous managers I had that they were not so good. I learned a lot of things of not to do when I become a manager, but I also have a lot of a lot, learned a lot of things uh, from managers, uh, good managers that they guide me, they guided me and uh, gave me the vision. Uh, at this point, I I cannot. Avoid to mention, uh, for example, Thomas Monahan and uh, Matus Valo, my current managers, who from day one they told me we want transparency, we want honesty, and this is this is a takeaway, and this is something that I'm fully aligned with, and I try to implement here in Athens as well because we do a lot of things, but we have a lot of misses as well. We made a lot of mistakes, and this is human because if you try, you will make mistakes as well. But if you have uh, transparency if you have honesty and you are very you set expectations correctly then people appreciate that even if you are making a mistake so this is what I'm trying to follow not find an excuse and cover everything but be honest with uh, with our people and explain how is the situation and uh, I think this is a great lesson uh, that uh, I have learned from uh, from my managers I mean it's a like you put human like the actual act of being human and humans one-on-one -on -one with with your team you put human in human capital and capital is like just adding to the worth and value of just the entire company so um that's great what about you olga what are some lessons you've learned that have brought you like to evolve into your, your own career 
Well, you know, the last years I have learned, first of all, to have patience. It is very important and have faith, you know, in myself. I mean, if you are doing the right stuff, recognition and opportunities will come sooner or later. Sometimes we live in a very, you know, challenging years, like, you know, this year with COVID. Uh, well, you think, you know, sometimes you are a little bit of stuck, but, you know, if you continue to do the right thing, opportunities will come and recognition will happen. To be honest, if I want to speak about myself, every time that I was rejected for something that I considered good, in fact, I was being redirected to something better. So what I would like to share is that be patient. The right opportunity, the right people, the right place will come. I, that is actually, it's funny you say that, but that's a phrase. Um, and even in talking to you guys in our kind of just get to know each other interview, uh, rejection is just redirection. And then for referencing back to our first question, Jake, like everything you said, just kind of like, it feels like all the experiences you've had along the way have kind of added to your toolkit of how you're able to present um, yourself and be there for your team. It's, I also say like the dots connect looking backwards. So I, I'm loving the, the kind of like ethos that uh, Greece Athens just runs on. Um, and actually, I want to point to a couple of comments that we had. Uh, first of all, everybody, what about your role at T-Tech do you love most? Drop that in to the chat. But I just want you guys to know also there's so many comments of like, thank you. I can confirm that everybody would love to be a part of T-Tech Athens. Um, it's great to be a part of a values-based organization like T-Tech. Um, just everyone's everyone it just it fosters so much pride in I think just being a part of the company so drop in what do you love most about your role at T-Tech and I think um circling back to what you just said about how Olga about how uh the pandemic kind of shifted a lot of stuff for you guys I know Engagement is much different in person than it is online and keeping morale up is incredibly important in people's like job happiness, um, sense of purpose and stuff like that. So how did your team pivot during the pandemic to foster engagement? And what is something that you're like looking forward to as you guys kind of come back into the office that will make e engagement these days like a little more special? Um, Jake, what, what would you say? Well, first of all, to answer the first question uh, regarding my role and what I love most is, I think, being in a position that I interact with so many different people, different cultures. We don't forget that here in Athens, we have uh, one of the biggest multilingual sites in uh, TTEC. We have uh, nine different languages, nine different cultures, backgrounds. So interacting with all this, I mentioned before that it's I want to give them I want to, to to make them step up but also I take so much I take energy I take uh, uh, their experiences their backgrounds and uh, I really appreciate that they because they feel me they feel me energy and I feel so much uh, fulfilled and uh, uh, I enjoy so much all this interaction with uh, everyone here uh, now, regarding the engagement activities, Sierra, you are absolutely right. Pandemic was uh, was a very hard period for everyone. I guess I don't think that anyone uh, was anticipating that. It was a first for the humanity. <laughs> so uh, everything had to change. We had to adapt. We had to change. We I remember listening to all these seminars before. Uh, uh, embrace change, and uh, change is good. But I think that this was too much. <laughs> it was too abrupt, let's say. Uh, but we had to adapt. We had to survive. We have to move forward, and we did. So engagement activities had to change. We couldn't uh, have any more uh, the activities that we used to have. I uh, remember with Olga, we were organizing ice cream day, pizza day, a lot of activities regarding food. You know, our <laughs> Greeks are famous for for uh, for their food, uh, but. Uh, a lot of engagements on site that unfortunately we couldn't uh, carry on during the pandemic so we had to transform we had to change and this is what we did we uh, shared practice with other also t-tech colleagues uh, across europe and the the other regions 
uh, we uh, exchange ideas with uh, the peers and uh, the agents. So we carried a lot of activities, online activities, not as many, I have to agree, not as many as we would like, uh, because it was a first for us as well. Uh, but now we are in a much better position. Coming back to the site gives us the opportunity to run simultaneously both online but also on site activities. Uh, because after all, engagement is the glue that bonds us together. I mean, operations, quality, training, every all departments come together with engagement and interact and at the end of the day, deliver the best possible result. Yeah, I think it's um, one food is a very even for our social team food and those kind of holidays are a very easy uh, kind of like excuse to celebrate something. But it's in times like that, it's very important that you almost like reach for those moments like how can I connect? How can I connect? Um, so that's great that you guys kept that up. And now that things are transitioning back, you'll, there's going to be a new appreciation for those in-person moments. Um, what, have, what from your perspective on the hiring, uh, angle and helping people find their dream careers, Olga, how did the pandemic kind of affect relocations or, um, or even your team? How did you find them kind of like pivot for the pandemic? Well, pandemic was a challenge, but, you know, this job kept us alive, I mean, during the pandemic and kept us motivated. Uh, we continued business as usual. Uh, we hired people. Uh, we supporting, you know, during the relocation, you know, to Athens, even through a pandemic. Uh, we supported clients. We have expanded. So I would say that, you know, we continue, you know, business as usual. And this kept us alive, motivated. And uh, it was quite, quite interesting because every day was unpredictable. But, you know, the team in Athens is very strong, both in operations and human capital and talent acquisition, that, uh, you know, we supported, you know, the business growth, even in 2020 and 2021. So this is a very big achievement, you know, uh, for TTEC, first of all, and second of all, you know, for us. That's, that's very important. and. Um... It's, it's, it's always, I always found it so interesting, like you, the um, necessity is the biggest inventor of like just new opportunities or new systems. So that's great that you guys were able to pivot and uh, still find people those, those little nuggets of like hope, opportunity, changing their lives, even when everyone else's lives were changing for something they couldn't, you know, understand or predict. But um, overall- Well, it was funny, you know, to tell you because we couldn't travel for pleasure, but people wanted, you know, to travel for work, so. Very interesting, very interesting. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Maybe they were looking for an excuse to travel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> um, but overall, I think, I've so enjoyed out getting to know T Tech Athens and all this. It's it's very rare that I've even seen throughout my career that there is not only an entire company but a just a specific location office like that is so focused on making sure the company culture is everything and more. Like I'm sure your um, your team at T Tech Athens they feel very valued and seen and heard and that is incredibly important. So thank you for joining us today and sharing how important it is to you and how you guys go about that. And um, it's it's just obvious that you live by and fully embrace T Tech's biggest asset being its people at the heart of our T Tech human experience. So thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sierra. It was an honor being here. And to, to say, of course, given the, the opportunity that uh, uh, if someone is impressed and wants to be a fellow t -taker, we are hiring. And we are hiring in a, a lot of different languages. And uh, we are preparing for next year. So now it's the opportunity to send uh, a CV to t -tech. Oh, yes. Exactly. Uh, well, speaking of hiring, that's where this part of the show, we toss it over to some T Tech jobs. So if you would like to find a fulfilling and evolving career here at T Tech, 
let's take a look at some of these hot jobs at ttechjobs.com. So first of all, it's important to just get acquainted with our T-Tech jobs page. You're going to like find everything you like this culture um, book. This is how I learned everything about T-Tech when I first came here. And you will find so much, um, so much of what we're about as far as values and stuff. Just search, you know, if you're into marketing, sales, just kind of check out um, keywords or job titles and it'll pull up a whole list of different opportunities available. So first we're going to visit. So I'm currently located in Phoenix and we have a senior manager sales service delivery op uh, opportunity available. And this is for the person who is passionate and inspired and a driven sales manager looking to take their career to the next level. And um, so essentially, it's your day to day is going to be to like drive uh, sales program operations and develop positive relationships with key contact clients. We're looking for someone who has strong coaching people and leadership skills with about seven years of sales experience and five years of management experience. And um, you get all that info kind of down here. And then if you just couldn't get enough of Greece. They are looking for a bilingual customer service re representative who speaks Greek and English and is interested in the travel industry. Um, and, you know, like we just talked about, work should be fun. So they're looking for travel experts who are passionate about working for a world class brand in tourism and you speak Greek and English. Um, and their uh, skills would be someone who it has excellent written and oral English Greek speaking skills, is computer literate, and demonstrates excellent customer service as if it was their superpower. So you'll find all those details right in here as well. And everything on ttechjobs.com. But that's it for our show. I hope you enjoyed the talent show powered by T-Tech because T-Tech is powered by our talent. I want to take a moment and thank our guests, Olga and Jake, again, as well as everyone who works to make this show possible. And of course, everyone who came to spend a little time with us today. The comments in have been so heartwarming. So thank you for that. And we will see you again in two weeks on October 28th.